Start off with the tri sitting at the back axle. So we drop it, we do a test on it, we check it. Once it's on the ground, don't just go out and pick it up and throw it away into my little separator. Have a look in here and see what's going on in here. See whether you can see a pattern, see whether you can see grain on the right hand side or grain on the left. Sometimes when you get a leak in your machine, there will be a nice little stream of grain going straight through it. So have a look at that. Um, what I've got in, in the ute is a, it's a little box that you separate fertilizer with. You chuck all the fertilizer in there, it's got four screens, large, smaller, smaller, smaller. So you give that a shake and all the broken seeds will come down to the bottom and then the next layer you'll have your good seeds and the next layer you'll have your crap and the next layer you'll have all the chaff and everything that you don't want. So the broken seed is just as good as lost seed, isn't it? So that seed that doesn't mean anything to you. So if you see your broken seed, then you need to go back to your machine and see what you can do there to fix it up. What Brett said this morning about um, don't try to like, open up your repeats. The repeat system for me on any machine, whether it's a red one or a yellow one <coughs> or a green one, the repeat system is the blood test for of the machines. So if you really want to know what's going on in the inside in the guts of your machine, you open up that repeats, see what's left in it. I did mention this morning that I hate the stall stop. I think the stall stop gives you a false reading. Everything is slowing down. So when you do a, a stall stop, your phone is slowing down, your shoe is slowing down, your rotor is slowing down, everything is slowing down. So instead of blowing the crap out the back, um, it sits on your sieve. So it slows down, slows down, slows down. So you stick your head up the arse there and have a look what's going on inside. And you think, oh shit, what have I done here? All the sieves are loaded up onto the left. Well, all the sieves are loaded up to the right. So it gives you a bit of a false reading. So I agree with Brad what he said about the tailings. My suggestion is open up your tailings while you harvest, just for a test, don't, don't um, leave the door open. But just as a test, drop that tailings door open, go and harvest and come back and see what's going on on the ground. <laughs> see whether you've got any heads sitting there and see whether you need to make any adjustments. I keep on saying at schools, now when I was at the dealership I used to do schools like this, I keep on saying at the schools, if you've got a problem on your machine, it's like having a flat tyre, a slow puncture on a, on a tyre. You get there in the mornings and the tyre is flat, you will pump it up, it will be right, you can go harvest for the day, if you get back there tomorrow morning it will be flat. You need to pump it up, go and harvest for the day, tomorrow morning it will be flat again. So to fix that issue, you need to take this off and get it repaired and put it back on and then you fix the problem. So if you've got a problem here on your rotor and your concaves, don't go and chase it up with your fan speed or putting more material through your repeats, trying to smash it up or you know closing your bottom surf, opening up your top surf. If you've got a drama in your repeats and you know where it's from, come back and fix it here. Like all our problems on these machines are happening here. This is where all the action happens. And what Brad said to you before, it goes around the rotor three or four times and then it's gone. Then we can't handle, handle it anymore. Um, when we go seeding, we put out, I don't know how many kilograms a hectare you guys put out, but let's say 100. So when do you go out and put 100 kilograms of seed out? You don't go out and say, stuff the 100, I'm just going to put 95 kilograms out. When you go and jump in your spray and go and spray, you're not going to say stuff the 5 litres a hectare, I'm just going to put 3 litres a hectare out. You do everything that you're doing, you're doing 100%. So why do you want to go out with a harvester and you only say, well, 90% of the crop is good enough, I'm going to leave the other 10% out there. When you make a stuff up with your seeder, or a stuff up with your spreader, or a stuff up with a sprayer, you can go back and you can do it again, you can fix it up, talk to the agronomist, make a few changes and go back and fix it. Once this fellow is over it, that's it, it's gone. You can't go and pick it up again. So we get one chance, one chance only, and we need to pick it up and make sure that we, that we get it right. Um, if we start off on our fronts, 